Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. So today's video is a little bit different, but one that you guys have always like asked of me, and it's going to be sort of like a behind the scenes of like my photo shoots, how I plan them, how I plan my feed, and most importantly, how I edit my photos for my Instagram feed. Because you know, I'm all about the aesthetics. I'm all about the vibe. I'm all about things flowing and and let's be honest right we live in a world where aesthetics do matter there are so many photo editing apps out there and i know you probably like which one to choose but don't worry i got you guys i'm going to be sharing with you guys my new favorite photo editing app epic and they're also sponsoring this video so huge thanks to them I'm so happy to have discovered epic app because it makes editing your photos so much easier whether i want to do a little smoothing a little slimming it's all there at the of a finger so before we get into the photo editing we're gonna touch on how i plan my outfits for my photo shoot i'm gonna share with you guys the three looks i went with and how i go about planning that out so when i plan my outfits i literally scroll through apps for inspiration and then i kind of settle on the items that i like and i put them on a little mood board and put everything that i'm gonna need for each outfit on that board it helps to organize things keep things in order and once you save those photos to your phone, you can pack your bag accordingly on shoot days so you know, okay, I need this airing with this shoes, with this bag, for this set, and we're good to go. All right, let's get started on planning our looks for the shoot. Whether I'm booking a photographer or shooting myself, I always do this because it helps to keep me organized. So with using a blank canvas, I just place all the clothing items that I'm planning on wearing and putting them together. Um, this is just my way of like planning an outfit and also putting every single thing that I'll need for this look on this board. Um, so I'm going to add the jewelry I'm planning on wearing. I'm going to add the shoes. I'm going to add any props that I want to wear so on and so forth right now i'm just playing around with the sizing and placement because i'm so like anal about things like this it has to be perfect so here we have an aritzia set my bottega stretch heels on um, the bracelet and the prop that i want to use so yeah just putting everything on the board for the next look i definitely wanted a jean and shirt vibe this is one of my favorite outfits to wear and i wear this style outfit in various like different ways so here we have the jeans, um, the shirt, a purse, again, putting everything that I'm planning on wearing that day with the look on the board. So when I pack my bag for my street shoot, everything is together. For the final look, I wanted to wear this like shirt dress from PLT. And this is me just adding all the jewelry that I wanted to stop with this look, as well as a shoe. And yeah, we're gonna see how it comes together in the end. But yeah, that's pretty much what I like to do to plan my looks and it helps to keep me organized. So now that we have our photos back from the photographer, we're gonna scroll through and we're going to pick the ones that we like and get to editing. And then we're going to put everything on our feed and plan. All right, let's get started on editing by using the Epic app. And I just wanted to let you guys know that this app is completely free with no in-app purchases. All of what you see here is available to you for free. So I decided to start off with this image here from the yellow outfit. And all I'm gonna do here is add some height to myself by using the shoe icon. And I love this feature so much because I love looking tall in my photos. So this just really helps to give me a little bit of height. Now I'm gonna jump on over to the body tool here and I'm just going to shrink my head a little bit. I have a big head and I just wanna shrink it a little bit. And then I'm gonna go to the waist icon and we're gonna take a couple of inches off, okay? No shame in my game, but you know, it's I love this feature. And with this particular outfit, it won't be too obvious. So 
that's what we're doing and the final thing i'd like to do to this photo is kind of like cool it down a little bit by going to the saturation tool and taking that color down a little bit not completely but just a little bit and that's pretty much it for this photo and here is the before and after very subtle but there are some differences next photo i'm going to work on is this one here this is for a jewelry campaign i'm working on and i love this shot of me it's stunning it's pretty but i do have some little issues going on like the hyperpigmentation on my chest so i'm going to be using the remove tool to remove this so once you tap on the remove tool you have an option to make the circle smaller or bigger whatever you like but because these spots are very small i just use a small circle and i'm just zapping those away and look at that all gone i also have this massive zit on my chin so i'm going to remove that also like that it's gone and we're just going to smooth out the under eyes and just really clean this photo up and again we're going to fix the tone of my photos and that's also a great tip for those of you who are looking to just have your feed or your instagram feed be cohesive the coloring is also a big part so that's what i'm fixing right here and that's pretty much it for this photo here is the before and after This next image is also a very close-up shot of me, and it's pretty much okay, but I still have some blemish on my chest, and my nose contour is way too harsh. So I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm going to be doing. So we're going to zap away the, the hyperpigmentation on my chest here, and if it looks too unnatural, definitely go back over and fix it. It's super easy to do. I'm also going to zoom into my eye, see what needs fixed in there, and oh, there's a little thing in my eye here. I'm going to remove that too. We're going to get every little detail. Next, we're going to use the smoothing tool to just smooth out my photo a little bit. Now, I've seen people really go overboard and like smooth out their entire facial structure, but I don't want to do that. I just want to do a very subtle smoothing just to kind of clean things up. And then I'm going to go into, I want to say the glow tool just to kind of give myself a little glow. Of course, you can be very, very glowy, but again, very minimal edits here and we're gonna go into the makeup feature now which you guys are gonna be obsessed with so here I am playing around with some different styles of lashes I no longer wear falsies and stuff so this tool is clutch for me it comes in very very clutch and here I am touching up my blush and this makeup feature you guys is top tier if you're ever having a day where your makeup just wasn't as flawless as you'd like you're able to touch it up in this app or even if you took a photo bare faced you can literally do a full beat with this app for free that's the crazy part for free so this is pretty much it for this photo i'm going to just save it and i'm going to show you guys the before and after again very subtle changes but you see the difference right so much cleaner the final photo I'm going to be working on is this one here. It is quite an old photo, but I remember not wanting to post this because I did not like how my body looked. I felt like I wasn't curvy enough, my waist wasn't wasting, <laughs> so I wanted to fix all that stuff in this app to share with you how easy it is. So I started off by smoothing out my skin because I just wanted to kind of look a little bit more airbrushed because all my pores were showing. And now we're gonna go to the body tool. So I like to start off at the waist and I'm just going to cinch that in. And one thing I wanted to point out about the Epic app that no matter how many modifications you make to your body, it doesn't distort the background. I'm sure you've seen those photos where girls cinch in their waist and the walls are like curving in the back this will not happen with the epic app which is something that is so huge and just top tier again the fact that this app is free is insane so now i'm just adding some height to me and i also brought in my hips slightly and yeah that's pretty much it everything else about this photo is perfect and here is the before and after the final step for this video is going to be sharing with you how I plan my Instagram feed. Now, I really have no method here. I really just play around with it for hours and hours and hours. I try not to do it too long though because after staring at these photos for too long, they just start to look ugly and I don't even end up posting them at all. So here's what I'm gonna tell you. First of all, you're gonna need to have a color palette or a color scheme that you're working with mine is clearly white green gray black 
some pops of color here and there but definitely find a color scheme or a color palette to stay within it's really going to help things be more cohesive and really flow and that's where the aesthetic essentially forms for my feed right now you can see there's lots of green i don't like that at all it's very concentrated so i'm just moving things around trying to make things flow a lot better this isn't my actual feed currently on instagram but i just wanted to use these images as an example for you because this is essentially where you'll start i've gone ahead and switched over to my actual instagram feed and i'm gonna scroll down to the beginning of time when i began to like start forming my own aesthetic as you can see i played around with different looks here and there but i decided that i wanted to do more of a minimal aesthetic but we all start somewhere and as you can see i didn't have it together all the time and i obviously took the aesthetic thing way too far where i was taking pictures in like a parking garage it's all good but it was just had no personality to it in my opinion so now i'm happy that i have more of like a lifestyle vibe and i'm not too strict on the coloring as much anymore which is so fun to just play around with the shades but yeah that's pretty much how i plan my feed i use this app and it's super cool that brings us to the end of this video don't forget to follow me on instagram if you're not already and i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys soon bye